So in this video, I'm going to show you some mixed media techniques and how to use them. I'm going to start by painting a heart with the FW Neon in the fluorescent pink. While it's still wet, I'm going in with the System 3 acrylic, in, uh, acrylic ink in white, which is a more opaque ink. I'm using that to add in a little bit of subtle highlight, and since it's wet, it blends right out. I'm then going in with the FW Process Magenta, which is a bit of a darker pink from the FW line, which is, again, acrylic ink, but a little bit more translucent, and blending that in, and adding more defined highlights with the System 3 white again. Once it's dry, I'm going to go in with the Aquafine Cerulean Hue, and I'm going to use that to add in a little bit more color depth to the heart by glazing it over the top, specifically in the shadow area. Because all these inks are compatible, they work really, really well together. Then I'm going to go in with the neon again just to blend everything out and make sure that it's working well together, like I use the neon and the acrylic together. And then I go in with the System 3 White as a sharper highlight. And for a little bit of an extra touch, I'm going to use the FW Perlescent in this light baby pink to add on a little bit of a glimmering highlight around the edge. For this next demo, I am again starting in green watercolor using the Aquafine inks to establish an overall just idea of what I'm going to do. I'm pretty much working really loosely and just adding in some little leaves. And then I'm going in and adding in some lighter colors and because it's so wet, these will push everything out of the way, which is awesome. Now I'm going in with some acrylic inks and building up over the top, different shading and adding in some lighter areas with the acrylic ink because they're acrylic inks. You can add light back on top, which is super, super useful. And I'm using some like a flat little brush to basically add in those details and then blend them. I'm using some of the more translucent colors to glaze over the top and create some really smooth blending. You can see I'm using yellow to go in and blend back in to the green, um, etc. And now I'm taking a nice opaque, I don't know if this was black or if I made a dark green, maybe it was dark blue. <laughs> um, and I am using a long rigger brush to create a little outline. And then because I kind of messed up the outline a little bit, I went back in with some of that darker color. I think it was like a dark blue, dark green. And um, added some more shading. And I just kind of kept adding in highlights, taking things away. It's really important to control the water on your brush. That will really help. I'm gonna do a little demo here of how I blend colors into one another. And you can see I've kind of put them next to each other and then I'm wiping my brush off in between my brush stroke on my little paper towel so that the brush is pretty dry and then I'm kind of just really lightly brushing left and right and sometimes in circular directions but usually just like left and right um, and you're barely brushing the top of the ink and the paint you really really want to just be really light touch with it the last thing that I want to show you is a little bit of a different way to incorporate mixed media into your piece, but this is what I did was I got this wooden board, I coated it with white gesso, and then I took the System 3 Pearlescent acrylic ink, which is insanely shiny. This is in the silver, and it is, it's just so, so shiny and metallic. I love it. And I just painted the edges because the inside wasn't gonna be seen, and I didn't wanna make it harder for the glue to stick or anything like that, but I painted the edges with the silver, gave it a couple coats so it was really nice and shiny. Before this I did like kind of sand the board a little bit, although I probably could have sanded it more, but I just energy. Um, and then I went ahead and I you I marked like the corners of it where my painting was going to lay and I actually used masking tape to mask out those edges and it was pretty helpful so um, I used a decoupage glue to lay over all of that um, and fill in that whole area with glue and then I really really carefully very carefully <laughs> placed my painting and smoothed it on there and then placed some paper towel on top and placed some books on top of it. And that was another way that I used mixed media in my piece that I thought was really fun and added a really unique touch to the artwork. In the next video, I'm going to show you how I painted the entire piece and put everything together.